Welcome to hole number one of the World Tour Nine Hole Cup. Starting off here, Gokasho Bay. Very straightforward one to get things off here. Now, 20% max, setting up here with a basic ball and a backbone. Basically, any ball here will do, and any any long iron that can give you at least three bars of backspin. Now, a stronger tailwind, you're going to need more backspin. If we have a headwind here, of course, we might even be playing up into top spin or a lot less backspin. Keep that in mind, guys. These are not exact adjustments. I'm just giving you a general guideline of where to bounce, where to roll, with the goal of getting in the hole. We'll see you on number two. Hole number two brings us to the Sakura Hills. Now, I'm showing you a multitude of balls and club choices in this video. This one here, a backbone a level one with one bar of topspin. If you find yourself with a really low level account, using a Quasar or Marlin ball here might give you a little bit more right spin and give you a chance. I'm going to use the right curl that I have on this club. And the idea is here that we're bouncing on the left pad, using the left edge here up on the fringe to kind of kick it down, bring it close to the hole. It's, it's a long shot, but this is definitely a way you can play it safely. Hole number two, this one's more for the thrill seekers in the crowd. I'm bringing a Marlin ball and we've got a Goliath here. We're setting this one up for a rough bump. 10% medium distance and I'm not playing any spin at all. Top of that green ring is actually touching the top of that thin, thin little rough strip. Now you can tell here the angle of the wind is really going to matter whether or not it's going to be a good idea to play this rough bump. It's not a lot to work with. If you play a side spin three ball, you can play it a little closer to where the take shot button is. There's more room to work with. Um, so there's lots of ways to set this up. Lots of these holes have so many options. I'm going to try to show you a few extras, but safe play on the left. Risky little rough bump here if you really want to run it up and try to get that drop. As you can see, oh, a little bit short. We'll get you on number three. Hole number three, we continue our world tour on Meadow Castle. And fittingly enough, we're going to play this with three bars of backspin for hole number three. Now, I've got the backbone and the marlin. Once again, any ball, any kind of club for this type of shot, this is, this is a great hole. Now, guys, if you're getting value from this video, if you enjoy Golf Clash and the wonderful community that we have, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on the video. I do appreciate the free support. Thank you very much. And don't even forget to subscribe. Join this community. It is my pleasure to be a member of the team. So just between the rough and the fringe here, you can see the top of the red is very close to each and just a clean adjustment here into the wind. I wish we could get the tour one wind here, you know, like 1.1 or something. But hey, maybe you want to do what you got to do to get it in there. Woo, baby. We'll see you on number four. Hole number four, we're heading to the Oasis. Now, setting up here with a little bit easier first approach here. We're going to use one bar of topspin with a Marlin and a Sniper. Now, you see the basic ball here. That's really to prove the point that you can, you can play this with basically any any kind of setup from this place so on the second uh, fairway there bounce it over the water second bounce you can see that it is in the rough now look at this wind it's so low we may need to make some adjustments to our spin of course to make the same sort of outcome in tournament wind conditions but this general path works bounce over the water slows it down and brings it very very nicely in towards the pin now i'll show you this hole once again with a guardian all right, so hole number four with the Guardian. I'd say this is your safest bet to get this one to the green consistently and not put yourself in any trouble. Three and a half bars of backspin here is really all it takes. And you'll see that I've got the bottom of the yellow ring eventually is going to be touching the bottom of this fairway pad. So I'll bring it down, bring it down. There we go. See, it's still at the plus four yard mark, but I do have that yellow ring touching. And I have offset the um, the ball guide ever so slightly to the left because, of course, we've got this reasonably strong left to right cross breeze blowing through. Um, I'm always learning. You know, I'm always picking up tips in this game. And I really appreciate it when I get that feedback from you guys. So don't forget to leave a comment on the video. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. And let me know what you think about this tournament. Hole number five, lovely Kohong Resort. I'm playing this one with 4.2 bars of backspin, Kingmaker, and a backbone at 20% medium distance on this adjustment. Top of that white ring, take careful look at that. It's touching about the middle of the fringe, and I just have that ball guide lined up directly to the pin. The idea is here that we're landing on the down slope with the backspin. This is going to check up that ball and allow it to come in at a beautiful 
pace. Like all these holes, there's a few ways you can play this one. You can set it up much further back with top spin and roll it kind of up and down. Um, but I've had a good amount of success with this shot. In fact, I have more replays of hole in ones here than any other hole. So get in the hole. Hole number six. This one, you're going to hear people talk about this one. It's so inconsistent. I'm going to give this one six top, one right. Playing it with a navigator and this Goliath here. The better the Goliath, the better that ball guide is to help get you up there. Um, I do have the top of the green ring here, just about touching the edge of the rough. And playing this one at negative 5% max, it's going to be 2.3 rings here on the pull. You can definitely bounce over this rough. It's not essential that you play a rough bump, but I find this hole very difficult. I think this is going to be one of those make or break ones that if you can find a really consistent outcome on this one, it's going to help you um, in almost every bracket to have a leg up on the field. So, hey, let's get that leg up. Let's try to get the drops. This one comes oh so close. I've dropped it in pro, uh, but never in rookie. So let me know when you do. Leave me that comment. Hole number seven. Find us on the beautiful Jamil Dunes. And I'm coming at this one with another rough bump. And the second shot in a row that we're playing negative five max here on the adjustment. So sniper and a Marlin and 4.0 rings here. I'm playing zero spin on this shot. It just works out beautifully with this level of club and it just sets up so, so nice. So if you happen to be a Sniper 7 player or better, I think this is really going to be a great option. Again, if that wind makes me have to pull down into the bunker, there's a higher likelihood I'll play a bounce shot and avoid the rough bump. Otherwise, I think you got a really good chance to get in the hole. Let's see what number eight. Hole number eight welcomes you to the Sharuba Springs. Now, I played this one on the left-hand side in Rookie, and you're going to see why. 25% medium distance here, and I'm playing it with one bar of backspin, two bars of right spin. Now, that red ring is close to the bunker. You see it's dipping in a little bit, but I'm really setting this up based on the ball guide. So once you see my final position here on the green, I want you to take a snapshot and look at it, and you're going to see really how we set this one up. So just like I said, now I'm lining it up. See that ball guy straight at the pin. It's a bit of visualization that needs to happen here. And that red ring is not quite all the way into the bunker. So it's going to depend on the level of your club and how you do it. But like I said, one back, two right, 25% mid. This one's going to give you a very, very good chance for a drop. I hope you get that boom. We'll see you on number nine. Hole number nine, quick shout out to my friend JJ Etlinger for being the one to point out to me. Playdemic's promotional material does not match the actual practice hole in the game here for number nine on Centenary Harbor. Four back, two left. I'm using a Kingmaker and a Sniper here to play a rough bump. I do a 30% mid-distance adjustment here. And guys, I'm looking forward to this nine hole. I hope I've demonstrated to you that you don't need to break the bank with the balls. You don't need all the crazy clubs. There's always going to be advantages, but, you know, we can always just play and have fun. So check out the live stream, airlikegaming.com for some notes. And I uh, hope you do well in this tournament. I'm looking forward to it. And good luck on the course.